crisis of communication. Um, yeah, uh, a crisis in, in the power of our words, or you could even say the power of word. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like lying has become so institutionalized and so normalized now that we hardly bat an eye. We don't even expect politicians or advertisers to say anything true. They say anything and we immediately start to decode it for what it really means. Right. So because our power of word is the power to collectively create together, we have become unable to really create. Um, and I'm exaggerating the case a bit here. Mm -hmm. uh, there are still realms where uh, words mean what they mean uh, in like say technology, you know, in physics, mm -hmm. like there's still, you know, there's still um, as degraded as our civilization is, there's still a lot of potency in it. Yeah. But like on a political level, um, we are not in coherency. All the problems that we have would be easy to solve, are, are easy to solve technically. You know, like like the environmental crisis. If we just turned a fraction of our creativity and energy and attention to healing soil, and forests and wetlands, mm -hmm. there would be no climate crisis. You know, climate crisis is not primarily caused by CO two; it's caused by a destruction of ecosystems, mm -hmm. which are the organs of the Gaian body. Mm -hmm. And that is, if we put our attention on that, it'd be easy to fix. Mm -hmm. uh, same with all of our problems, but it's just that we're fighting each other. And the, the core of that, um, I'm trying to translate this into a crisis of communication, but it's really a crisis. The origin of it is in how we see each other. Mm 